In today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how to install NTS Expert so that you can use it on an Apple computer, on an Apple OS X. Um, you're just going to need, obviously, a coding cable. People always ask me what kind of coding cable could I get. Uh, if you look online on eBay, you can find ones where you type in K plus uh, DCAN, USB interface. This one right here has a little switch where you can use it between like older models or newer models. Um, you don't have to get the one with the switch. It's up to you if you're going to work on older models. They're fairly cheap now. I've seen this one, I think, cost me like $35. And then I'm going to show you guys the installation process on getting the software set up. I made a list of four things you're going to need. The first one's a Parallels Desktop. This program will allow you to install Windows within OS X so that you can use Windows on your Mac. It's a really cool program. I've been using it for many years. I've never had any issues. I always use it when I need to use a program and I have my Mac and it only runs off Windows. Next, you're going to have to find a Windows ISO file of the Windows version you want to use, whether it's XP, 7, or Windows 10. I've installed this on all three of these Windows operating systems with no problems. And Mike's Easy BMW Tools. This is an install setup that will install all the BMW programs that you're going to need to start coding your BMW. It's a, the easiest way you can install these programs. It's literally a one-click setup. And last but not least, a BMW coding cable. On this video, I'm going to show you how to set that up with all the programs so you can get started coding BMWs. All the programs I mentioned above, you can find on Google. It's a lot of searching to do. I won't post any links because they'll probably be deleted. But if you Google it, it'll be your best friend. Those are available if you search. You just got to do a little searching. You can find them. So once you install and have Parallels all set up, you're going to hit this screen when you first load it up. You're going to want to use this option right here to install Windows or another OSS from a DVD or image file. That's going to be the ISO file. You're going to be installing Windows as if you just bought a brand new PC or you reformatted a hard drive. It's going to be the same install process of setting up Windows as if you were doing it on a regular computer. And so since I already did mine to save time, you're going to see this screen once you're all done. So go ahead and load up Windows. As you can see from my windows, it's very bare. I have no programs on there. I got one that has just the essentials to load up windows just to save space. This is like a very small file. And so once you have everything in windows all set up and everything, and you also have the Mike's Easy BMW tools downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and run that setup. And here you're going to press next. And this will show you everything that's going to install, all the programs it's going to install. IMPA, NCS, Tool32, everything you're going to need to code BMWs. And it's going to show a little bit about the program and also which uh, models it can uh, work for. So go ahead and press next and install it in the C drive. That's where you want to install it at. And as you can see, it loaded up all the programs. And if you click finish, it's going to load up a, um, a readme file. It's just going to show you how to set up the coding cable, but I'm going to go ahead and show you that. So you can read that, but I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So you can just go ahead and exit it. And this is going to tell you to install a driver. I actually never get this to work. I'm going to show you another way to do it. So you can go ahead and cancel. All right. What you want to do is you want to test some of the programs, make sure everything installed correctly. So we'll go ahead and load up IMPA, this is what you can use for uh, diagnostics. NCS Expert is what you use for coding. Um, if the screen's too small, you can maximize it to a full screen. 
That way you can a little bit easier to work with. It'll be like using a PC. And so you want to get your uh, coding cable ready and plugging into the computer. And you'll hear a noise when it connects and it would also pop up this screen right here. And you want to choose Windows XP. That way it's going to communicate with the cable directly from Parallels. You don't want to connect to the Mac otherwise the programs in Parallels won't read it. Sometimes you may have to unplug it and plug it back in. So once you know it plugs in, sometimes you'll see new hardware found. Go to Start menu. Go to My Computer. Right click. Properties. Hardware. Click on Device Manager. Now you're going to see the DCAN cable right here, but it has a question mark. We're going to have to update the driver. So click Yes. Next. Next. It's going to search the internet to find the driver. Um, sometimes it does it the first time it finds it. Sometimes you have to do it twice. Just let it find it. It's searching the internet, so make sure you're connected to the internet. Okay, it found it. It says finish. But it, you see, I noticed that it popped up again to ask to uh, search for a driver. And you notice how up here it still says a question mark. So go ahead and try it one more time. Alright, it looks like it found it. And you can see it changed on the device manager. So now that it says it's under ports, you want to double click this. Go to port settings. Click on advanced. And the port, you want to change it to COM1. And over here... The latency you want to change it to number one instead of 16. Put one and press OK. And press OK. And everything's set. The coding cable is ready to start using. One thing I noticed before you start coding we have to fix is that it only installs two coding profiles on NC It's Expert, as you can see right here. There's only two options. I like using one that's meant for coding, which I see didn't include on this install. This is the file right here. This is a small file, so if you have, I'm gonna try to put a link for it, or you can email me. I can email it to you. It's a super small file, so I can send it through email. So to add that to the coding profile, go to C drive, and go to NCS Expert, and go to the PFL folder, and go ahead and you drag that file into that folder. That's gonna add the profile to the NCS Expert. While you're there, go to the work folder, and this is what I use the coding. You can use NCS Dummy, but I like using a, a text document, a notepad, to do the editing. So you want to make sure it, it opens with the notepad. So when you go to the properties, you can change it and you can put the notepad and make it so it always opens that type of file with notepad. And while you're there, open this file up because NCS Extra is going to require a man file to be in that folder. And there's not one in there right now. So you load that up. Is there any writing in there or any kind of strings? Just select all, just delete everything and save it. And then you want to go to save as select all files for save type and put a that dot man in the end that way we have a man file that ncs extra is going to want now let's plug in the coding cable to the car and load up impa and then you want to make sure when you turn the ignition on not the engine on but to the second position and then you can see the two dots are shaded black that means that the car is communicating with the program so we're good to go and you're ready to start coding. You can load up NCS Expert. You can load the profile. Now we can see the coding profile is now there. That's the one I like to use. And go ahead and start doing the normal steps to coding. I'm here, you're gonna see me load up a CIC, my CIC module for reading. Read ECU. And perfect. Everything's set up and you're ready to start coding. Okay, I'm going to show you guys another thing you might run into. If you try to load up BMW tools, it's going to give you this error. There is a file that it's missing that it needs. It's this file right here. Uh, if you need help finding this file, you can go ahead and email me. I can email it to you or I'll put a link below in the description. You want to open up the C drive and you want to go to Windows and then System32. And if you have a Windows 10, you're going to put it in this folder right here. But since mine is Windows XP, I'm only going to do it in the folder I'm showing you in this video. And you want to drag that file into that folder. And then you want to go to the BMW Tools folder. And first delete the original shortcut. 
go to that and make a new shortcut from the one from the original folder and it should load up this is the program you're used to install like to update your Danton files the Danton files that come with this install file are pretty recent uh, I had no problem coding my car but if you were to download the most newest ones you can use this program to update all your Danton files but like I said the ones that come with it more likely you're gonna be fine using it's only if you want to just be up to date with all the most current files and that's it everything should be set up so you should start having fun coding your BMW adding features I appreciate everyone for always uh, watching my videos and liking subscribing um, all the emails I get about how helpful my videos were I appreciate it um, thanks everyone once again for watching have fun